I will tell you a very old story. I heard it from Nasrak when I was very young. It is said that a girl lived with her family in a place far from here. The girl loved to hunt and had grown capable of doing many things. One day, a powerful blizzard approached. It was followed by another blizzard. And another. Oh no. The village was no longer able to hunt. And faced starvation. Living in a place with practically no plants. Mm. But the girl wondered. What is causing the weather to be like this? And she set out to find the source of the blizzard. She can't just let her family die after all. All right. Where are we headed from here? The blizzard was unrelenting. And the girl did not make it far. Oh. Before she found herself in real danger. Oh! I guess other things are- Oh, other things are out hunting too! Okay, okay, run seems appropriate. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, okay. Jump also seems appropriate. Ah! Oh no! <laughs> okay, note to self, we immediately got eaten by a polar bear. All right, let's try again. Let's get right up to the very edge this time. Okay, that's what we needed to do. Okay, polar bears still can definitely chase us. All right, let's climb, let's climb. Oh! Okay, keep going, keep going. Oh, look, there's a fox. All right, come on, come on. Oh, it must be so hard to run through the snow like this. Okay, that guy is very hungry. We probably seem like such an easy meal. I wonder where the fox went. Oh, the ice! No, no! Oh look, it's the fox! Oh my gosh, okay. All right, uh, let's see. Okay, well we are the fox now, you guys. Oh my goodness. All right, we managed to escape the polar bear, I think. Oh my gosh. She would have died had she been alone. Oh my, she was lucky to be alive. Wow, thank you. Are we are we supposed to travel together now? Oh look! Now we are the fox guiding her maybe to safety. The weather did not clear up as a blizzard was followed by yet another blizzard. <laughs> oh, it's just a land of of life and snow, but like no plants anywhere to be seen. All right, well we survived the blizzard with our little fox friend, but where are we headed now? Oh, okay, Arctic fox, huh? Oh, cool, and you have little insights we can watch about everything. Oh, fun. I hope this, when I was like... When growing up, uh, my grandpa uh, had a pet white fox. 
If you're a good friend with a fox, when there's danger abound, they try to keep you from getting into trouble. Oh, it's so cute, they you guys. Pull tricks here and there, and foxes are uh, like uh, spoiled little kids in that way. <laughs> when you let her out, she go prancing out in the snow, jumping in the air. I know she is happy then. Come running Look how well suited the foxes are for that big exactly snowy environment. And I try not to let it. So that was <laughs> my memory of my grandpa's pet fox. Wow, and it was so amazing to see how well suited they are to that particular environment. Also, apologies if we do watch over some of these and I have to do a little bit of talking. Otherwise, we can get in a bit of trouble for copyright. But I would love to know more about the story that we're unfolding here in Never Alone with our fox friend. Oh. All right. Come on, little fox. Can you make it? Oh my gosh. Okay. Climb wall. There we go. Oh, cool. And then because she's not alone, we can go ahead and the fox is going to help us to put the rope down. That's so fun. All right, let's be the one to like go ahead and guide. Oh, 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 hang in there. Not too far, because we don't want to leave the girl alone, but we definitely want her to like follow. Ooh, okay, and jump. Oh, all right, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna need to come down here. Let's get both of us down here. And we have to just watch out Oh, look, it looks like some people, their village has been destroyed by the storms. Can you imagine trying to live somewhere that is so extreme in its temperatures and so extreme in what the landscape is like? I I get if you've always lived there, but it just, it kind of, oh, 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 oh. Okay, wow, but it boggles my mind to think, like, why? Ooh, caribou skin clothing was the best. Whoops! All right, we just got knocked over again. All right, so, oh, look, there is more insights. How fun! Caribou was... It, it provided for us. Caribou. Mm -hmm. Our clothing in those days was made of all caribou skin. I grew up wearing caribou pants. Mittens, caribou skin mattress, blankets. Mm. Some people had boots that were made with wolf leggings, sealskin sole bottoms. Banning was shaved to make insoles. They kept us quite dry and warm as well. But the caribou skin clothing was the best. And we would get as many yearlings wow. as we could for our outer clothing. And for a heavy winter, we would get caribou in February or March because the hair was the longest and the skin was oh. the thickest and we would use those for our winter gear. With that stuff on, you could sleep outside in 50 below and it wouldn't bother you a bit. Wow, that really makes me think about how caribou used to be so much more populated uh, in the northern part of North America than they are today. Oh, brace ourselves! Okay, get ready, little fox. We're gonna jump. Okay, fox is making it. Come on, little one. Oh. The girl understood that helping spirits are among us. Oh, now it. Oh my gosh! Being different, that fox revealed to the girl. Just how beautiful those helpers were. Oh, and because the fox is with us, we can go ahead and stay with the helping spirits. This is beautiful. I would love to understand more about what kind of legends and lore, what kind of ideas of what spirits would make up this land started showing up as people lived here generation after generation. All right, so we're gonna try to climb and jump from the wall. Oh, look, and the helping spirit is gonna help us, I think. All right, so. Yes! Oh, almost, almost, okay. 
So the helping, oh look, the helping spirit is helping us. That's so cool. The girl and the fox kept each other out of so much trouble. <laughs> I don't know how they did it. Whoop! But together they found their way back home. Oh, that's so adorable. And we have to be really careful not to end up in the water. Come on, little fox. All right, there we go. Because I imagine even if the caribou skin keeps you warm... Ah! Like I was just saying, ending up in the water could still be disastrous because you might end up freezing. All right, there we go. Now the fox has come to join us. All right, are we about to get home? Another one of these ones, huh? Oh, no, 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 look. All right, I think the fox is supposed to wiggle down here. And now, here's the helping spirit. So how do we have the helping spirit help us? Aha. Aha. And now because the fox has revealed the helping spirits, the girls should be able to climb up with their help. There we are. And together they've made it to the other side. Yeah, I would love to learn more actually. The trapping trail. We'll learn we'll learn more about the stories in just a little bit, but just the idea of thinking about like as you get used to the land, as you live off the land, as generation after generation spends time in one place, which no one in my family has done for generations. Uh oh. How do you create the stories that help you make sense of where you live? All right, I think we need to have the fox Oh, hang in there, fox! <laughs> the poor little fox was trying to just guide the spirits over here so the girl could jump. All right, wait for it, wait for it. All right, come on, little one. All right, now he's coming too. Okay, good. And... Oh! Oh, we just missed it. Okay, let's try again. Because it's the fox's presence that makes it so that these helping spirits of the land show up. There we go. But I can't help but wonder if you get to know and love and find a place in the world that you really devote your attention and your love to. <gasps> ah! Then I wonder if we'd all find like our own little idea of helping spirits. But what happened? Wait, why? Is her village burned? I thought we were starving to death. I didn't think we were like having the village burn apart. The girl arrived at her village, but something was terribly wrong. A terrible man had arrived while the girl was away. Oh no. He was searching for something and would stop at nothing until he found it. The village was totally devastated. 